Yay! Okay. So, we are back. We have the Pokermans, which... Hey, wait a minute. Where is my audio for this? Hmm. Which speakers do you think I want? Hmm. Trying to figure out which speaker this is actually coming through. I know which one it's not. There we go. Okay, cool. So there, now you actually get the music this time. Sorry about that. Oh, wait. Well, you can probably hear it over the microphone. Never mind. Anyway, hi. We're still playing Randomized uh, Blue. I've done a little bit of leveling. Uh, Peanut is now level uh, 16. Peanut RPG, who is a psychic type. Just, just except it's randomized. Just deal with it. Um, everyone got a little bit of a level up except for Gretchen. Because uh, she just couldn't deal. Um, but everyone else got a decent level up. Uh, Peanut and Chives especially. Chives is two levels away from level up. Assuming the level he turns into his next stage hasn't been changed. So we got that going for us. Yeah. Alright. Uh... Let's see how we do at the gym now against Poison Brock, because we've come to the conclusion that Brock's a poison gym now, and see how we do with, uh, oh, you know what, let me talk to this guy, he often gives you a fresh water. Oh yeah, I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. Stop that chair. Become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, alright, let's get happening. First Pokemon out of the mat. no, 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 no. Dang it. Okay. Peter City Gym, Leader Brock, Winning Trainers, Frere. Frere already beat him. Of course. Frere, my old rival slash roommate. He's actually not... Oh. There's only two guys in Brock's gym. I forgot about that. I thought there was more, like, at Misty's. Alright, I know you don't believe in rock types, because you have poison types, like that Vulpix. Although, a Vulpix showing up in Brox's team is show accurate, so sure. Pidgey Psybeam. Wonderful. Rhyhorn. Oh, wow, okay. Confusion. Oh no, it's pounding me. I'm getting pounded, guys. Okay, there we go. We got a Psybeam. I love Psybeam sound. I've always loved Psybeam as an ability. <gasps> Peanuts level 17. One more level. He evolves. I hope. Okay, so we got a Boulder Badge. Um, and we're going to get a TM. I don't know what the TM is going to be. Uh, the Technique Flash can now be used at any time. Cool. Wait, take this with you. Receives TM34. Team contains a technique that can be taught to Pokemon. The team's only good once. So when you use one to teach new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. It's set... Oh, recover? Was that always true? I don't know. Let's find out. It contained recover. Okay, yeah. So it does... They, they actually used coding to tell you what it was instead of predetermined events. That's nice. Um, I think we're done in Pewter then, right? It was go in, beat Brock. Maybe get... Oh, I need to get more Pokeballs. Let's go to the Mart. Uh, let's go get some Mart, pe Mart Balls, I guess. I'd like to buy some Poker Balls. Like a good 10, I feel. And an escape... No, I can't but get an escape road for a potion. I don't have enough money. Oh well. Guess I can't die. Walking away. Oh right. My mouse shows up on that screen. I forgot. Alright, that's the way back. So we're gonna beat the first four trainers and then shoot back. So let's let Peanut help us here. There we go. You looked at me, didn't you? Yes. I think I did. That seems right. 
Lass wants to fight. Lass sent out Rattata. Uh oh. Go Peanut. Right, I didn't heal Peanut after the gym battle. I don't think Peanut needs it. Peanut one shotted your Rattata, lady. No. I want Peanut to evolve. Ooh, Ice Punch, that hurts. Is... Is Ice super effective against Flying or Psychic? I guess it's Flying, because birds have to fly south for the winter. It sounds like my rival is home. Oh, right, I gotta talk to somebody to find Flash, don't I? Oh, what's this? I have buzz buzzes. Uh-huh. What do you got for me, phone? Super neat things? Nope. Alright. We gotta find... Yeah, Mikella's playing Little Dragon Cafe in the background. This is the guy who takes me around town, right? Did I just bust into somebody's house? Nidoran, sit. A Pokemon's an outsider, so it's hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. Alright. Let's actually put Chives in the front. It's probably the better idea there. <sighs> hey, this bug catcher wants to fight. Okay. He sent out Neckins, like they all do. You okay? Okay. Yep, Frere's home. They, they ran off to go beat up Brock, and now they're back. Um, but we've... Also, apparently, to beat Pants. The true gym leader. If you beat them, you get a fly badge. I should warn you, it's always down, though. Uh, I'm so close to both Peanut and Chives evolving. Chives became Leeks. No. Actually, I, it might have randomized the evolutions. My Bulbasaur has a very small chance of becoming a Farfetch'd. I'm fine with that. That would be cool. Because the randomization is set once you put it in. So... It's not like one Bulbasaur would become an Ivysaur and another one would become a Farfetch. They all become the thing they are. Uh, but, oh god, it's so weird playing this with the randomization on. But I also kind of like want to draw the new versions of the Pokemon and just one very scared Bulbasaur in the middle. Just very much a whole, ah, uh, I don't like this. Oh, Ekans used Petal Dance again. Fuck off. Okay. Headbutt it. You hit it with your head. There we go. <sighs> so you have our life. There were too many goddamn books in the book drop this morning. That happens at, uh, at that particular branch. I, I remember those feels. <gasps> Two trips! Mm -hmm. I've had three before. Completely full! Yep. Oh my god. Oh, and then... Just constant all day. 
New additions to the list of people I gotta make bags for. Of course. Because they're all picking up their holds, which is fine, except for the woman who wants to pick up her holds, but also picked them up today. There's no more holds for her. They're gone. She picked them up. There's no more holds for you, lady. But I don't know what she's expecting. Yeah, she also wants a grab bag for children. Let me read you exactly what she told me she wanted in the grab bag. Uh, some meth, <laughs> no. a couple of joints. No? That would have been better. A Glock. Tween, age 11, historical fiction, Christian approved books. Oh, don't, you know what they definitely shouldn't put in there is that Bible. A lot of messed up stuff in that Bible. No Harry Potter or Percy Jackson. Slowly slides a kid the rights of Anubis. No. Um, Books like 39 Clues. Righteous characters that can be used to teach lessons, which I took to be very menacing. So, here's where I always get, like, very eh. Yeah. Is that, like... Harry Potter is very much a Christian story. Yeah. Um, and Dungeons and Dragons was made by a Presby and a Jehovah's Witness and two Mormons. And yet somehow these are satanic. Yeah. And really what it is, it's, it's the evangelicals coming after them. Yeah. Uh, and it always bothered me because it's like, it's good versus evil. I, I love my mom's response. I still love my mom's response. When we went to church and one of the other mothers was coming at her going like, hey, how can you let your child read Harry Potter and play Dungeons and Dragons? She went, Look, it's good versus evil. It's fine. And if he start if he kills the cat and starts riding a broom around around the living room, you can say I told you so. Uh I, I love my mom. Yeah. Um It's just like we work in a public library. We don't have a Christian approved section. Well then she ain't getting that. Thirty if she said thirty nine clues, then that's what she wants. Yeah. But if it's a grab bag, she gets what she gets. Yeah. So I, I, um, I was, if we, so he came in upstairs, and I had to go downstairs and be like, this is your problem now. And then I left. <laughs> I uh, was like, this is your problem. I'm honestly, going. I would give her uh, Lord of the Rings or uh, Narnia. Right. And then when she went, I said Christian. It's like, I'm sorry, these were written by two Christian scholars. And uh, one, both of them have allegories to the Bible in them. Yeah. So I don't know what more you want out of me. One of them is extremely strong allegories to the Bible. Look at this lion, he's Jesus. <laughs> what do you mean? He dies and comes back. Like, uh, these four British children are the tribes of Israel. Like, I almost want to be the person to go take her bags out to her and then on, and on that day have my fantastic shirt on underneath it. Uh, I, w I would wear the Harry Potter... Oh, yeah, the uh, Harry Potter... Scarves one, scarves one. Just because it'll give her a rise... Um, because I'm always the per I know it's wrong, but there are... Okay, there's two types of people who do this sort of thing. Yeah. There's the sort, like... I'm not going to say names. No. We have a co-worker who's honestly very respectful about it. Why she won't help... Well, I don't have a co-worker, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, she was my co-worker. Uh, who would be very respectful why she wouldn't help with the magic club. Yeah. That made sense. Then we had the gal who would hide anti-abortion paperwork in the Dr. Seuss books. That gal, I would aggressively remind that I ran the magic club, and I did not have time for this. Yeah. I mean, they were graphic, too. Those and are very graphic pic things she was putting in there. Yeah. It's one thing... In the children's put, section! It's one thing to put, like, a... I still would be wrong, but... Yeah. To put, like, a come to Sunday school thing in there, Yeah. right? That would at least you'd go, like, all right, that's kind of, eh, but fine. Yeah. Uh, this had, like, pictures of mutilated fetuses on it. Yeah. And it's like... Yeah. Put that in the children's section. Don't put that in the kids public section. Library? Kids don't need to see gore. Right? Especially in a public library. Yeah. You're not allowed to talk politics or religion. That means you can't bring it in here either. That's nah, true. We can have books on religion, which we do, in the nonfiction section. It's true. But you can't put them here. Also, I I always got tired of people who kept putting the the Bible in the fiction section. Yeah. We never, I'd only got one once, but I see other people do it, and it's like, not that off. Yeah. It, it goes in reference. It goes in reference. Leave it alone. Anyway, uh, on a more important note, we have a level 17 Pidgey that knows Psybeam. Neat. Also, the other one that m made me irritated was the guy who wrote, in the, wrote for under comments, would like to request title. 
that's it. Didn't give me the title of the book. Just, I would like to request title. Cool, which one? Which one, dude? I think there was a book called Title. No? No. I know, I know there's uh, a couple of books that have, like, meta names like that. Yeah. No, this was not that. Okay. Uh, and then also, and copies for two lost children's, uh, library cards? These are their names. N no. I don't know those are your kids. I need those kids here. I need the kids here. And we are also not replacing library cards at the It's moment. the shorts kid. So, No. The kid who says shorts are comfy and easy to wear. He's right. That's why I'm wearing them right now. I'm also wearing that. No. Unlike that, that heathen oh, wife of mine in long pants. Shrimp. My back is killing me. If you eat it, do you absorb its power? I don't know. I don't think that's how this works. Oh. I want to punch like a mantis shrimp. I want to punch a couple people into the sun. Then eat something. Dang it, game, stop giving me cut my threads. That sounds more racist than I think it is. Calling it click clack rice. Right, Magikarp's a psychic type here. Yay, Chives is level 16. Let's see if Peanut will level up too. We might get two evolutions in the same battle. That'd be great. Go, Peanut. Psybeam it. Psybeam it right in the face. What's happening at Cal? What's happening at the other branch? Not until June first or July first. Okay. But it's like every other week. Just two evolutions, changing. one fight. Every other week. Oh no! It's the third time. What time. chives is evolving? Third time in less than a year. I don't know if Bulbasaur still turns into Ivysaur. It looks like he does. It looks like he does. It looks like Bulbasaur's line didn't get touched. I forgot Ivysaur reared up in Gen 1. And Peanut's evolving. Neat. Okay, so apparently they do they did keep the evolutionary lines. I thought I had shut that off. But the typings of the evolutionary lines might not be set. So let's see here. Chives, what types are you? You're still pure grass. So there's no poison typing on Ivysaur in Randomized. Still psychic flying. Oh boy, look at that special stat. Ooh, spicy. Alrighty. Do 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 Headbutt it. Headbutt it again. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Let's see what happens. If I throw Gretchen out here. And then, immediately switch for Peanut. I, I think that's a good strategy until we get the XP all. Oh no. Barrage it, Peanut. Barrage it to death. Confusion is fine.
Gretchen Gulu level level four. Fantastic. Hey, tiny tiny dog, how you doing? Glad to see you here, Steph. All right, actually, I think we need to run back to the Pokemon Center. Also, we could just do this and make everyone rape. I love doing that. Yes, I'm using the fast forward. Damn it. That wasn't right. Okay, so we're moving on. We're catching random Pokemon. Uh, in fact, let's see what's in this here grass. Is it something we don't have yet? It's Zubat. I could use Zubat. Okay, Chives, now this is very important. Don't kill it. Chives, you had one job. I, I'm thinking I would name it Dr. Acula instead of Alucard or Dracula. Oh, we already have a Jigglypuff. Okay. What's the other other thing that happened today? Your hair looks nice right now. Thank you. Um... So I was driving home with our co-worker in the car. Yes. And as we came over the freeway and mm -hmm. came near that gas station on the way into town, yeah. uh, there was a shit ton... Steph says hi. Hi, Steph! There was a shit ton of fire trucks and police cars the, right in front of a completely burned out truck. Like big truck or pickup truck? Pickup truck. Okay, still bad. Yeah, just completely burned out. And then... <laughs> And then my, our co my co-worker tells me, oh yeah, how's this just seem to like burst into flames around here? Like way more than normal. And somebody's car near me kind of set on fire a few months ago. So, okay. I have answers on the car thing, on the house thing. Okay. Um, one of three things happens. One, somebody doesn't check their wiring. Yeah. Uh, we were in a very dry area, so when something does start, it goes fast. Yes. Two, meth labs. Meth labs burn like crazy. Yep. But also three, and this is the one that a lot of people don't believe me on, but this is literally how it works. A lot of the houses that were lost during the housing crisis um, were bought by our fire department. Oh, yeah. And so what they do is they purposefully light these empty houses on fire to train the new recruits on training day. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, because they want to be able to protect the houses that have people in them and yeah. stuff. That Because people and stuff deserve to be protected. The completely empty house, or the house that they filled with stuff they picked up from the dump that was in eh condition. But, like, you wouldn't use it, yeah. but it's good to show how to deal with a burning couch. Yeah. They burn that. Yeah. It's a controlled burn. It's not going to leave the yard. Yeah. Um, but then eventually people go like, oh, our fire department doesn't do anything. They let the houses burn down to the slab. Right, because you can only light a test house on fire once or twice. Yeah. So, when it's done, and they can't really light it on fire anymore, they just let it burn to the ground and watch, because it's neat. Yeah. Um, which, fair. It's theirs. They own it. They can do what they want with it. Yep. Now, do I think we should use some of those houses to help our homeless population? Yes. But at least the houses aren't just sitting there being owned by some company that's just using them as stock. Yeah. They're being used for, like, protection. Yeah. Also, I saw the herd, the herd of sheep today. That's good. They were neat. They had all been sheared. Ah, uh, freshly peeled sheeps. Yes. I'm gonna go eat my corn dogs. <laughs> go eat those corn dogs. Let's hear what else is new. Um, I've been getting our mutual friend Bex into Common Rider. Which is uh, itself one of the best things you can possibly do to for a friend. Give them an addiction. Uh, which is just fun. Uh, our The office currently reeks of lemon eucalyptus because uh, apparently bugs hate it. And, like, I'm down for that. I'm down for making bugs be sad. Down with the bugs. Okay, so my plan here 
is let Gretchen go out, switch for Peanut, and have Gretchen level up like crazy this way. Oh, actually, you know what? There we go. Did you touch me? You came up to me. You walked into me and then accused me of touching you. What the hell? As for why is the audio glitching out, is uh, I'm speeding up the game sometimes. Still don't know where to get that flash. Well, from drilling takes a lot out of you. I bet it does. Okay. Uh, yeah, I figured uh, the lemon eucalyptus is probably the best way to deal with the bugaboos. So we don't want to deal with them. What's this guy doing? Okay, so he's wanted to let us know Team Rocket exists. Yeah, all right, give me that magic card. I got a Goldeen. Um. Carpy, Carpy the Goldeen. So here's the thing, that might have been a blessing in disguise. All right, Gretchen, we're putting you in. Let's look at Carpy here. Carpy's a dragon type. With dragon ri Yes, I am withdrawing the dragon type fish. Holy criminy. Okay, so I don't remember how to get Flash. I believe I need it for this place. Oh no. Flash is the other cave, right? Hold down the, the PlayStation button. Okay, so that puts it in rest mode, so it's not off. It's just sleeping. Okay, so we cannot unplug it unless we fix that. Great. Dragon Rage. Nice. So I take it you're all done with the PlayStation. Yeah. Gonna go get yourself some dinner. No, I was gonna pull up my computer so that we could uh, go through the rest 
Oh yeah, we, we were going to go through the next uh, some uh, the next generation of Pokemon. Sure. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, can you close the blinds? I opened them, but now I regret that decision. Okay, I'm sending out Carpy the Goldine. Because the dragon type Goldeen is the way we're gonna win this fucking game. Oh no, that actually helps immensely. The green screen's not even being used right now. We need to drop it. Um, we don't have to, but we can. Do you want me to help you drop it? Okay. Carpy's level seven. Yes, I will change from my dragon type when you pull out an ice type Rattata. Because all Rattatas are ice types, you see. Uh, that's very true in this randomized Pokemon from another world. Um, in fact, you know, we don't really need the green screen up at all right now. Unless you, uh, if you just want to re-angle it over to, so that the, the leg behind me is over by the consoles. Because we probably want it when we're doing abduction tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Uh, because we're going to do abduction tomorrow, and abduction's a very, very fun game. I'm going to turn this on, though. Uh, that doesn't help as much as I thought it would. Let's try... Oh. Too bright. I'm currently under the microphone. Which is an issue. Hmm. Let's use a little Mac here. One second. Sorry, this makes a weird noise. Okay. We'll take the no. What what if I put it there? And use it to eliminate that way? Uh no. Oh well, no using extra light. All the ring lights on Amazon are sold out, and it's very annoying. No, don't ice punch me and kill me. Do not kill me. Okay, great. Little Matt, kill that asshole. Good job, little Mac. Little Mac grew to level eight. Nice. I saw the Pokemon Snap announcement. Oh my goodness. I am psyched. Because, uh, like, my first N64... Okay. My birthday. Eighth birthday. Seventh birthday? No, eighth birthday. Definitely eighth birthday. Uh, my dad... Buys me an N64, takes me to Best Buy, I get two games. Uh, and the deal was, he got to pick one game. So, I got NFL Quarterback Club 99, which was my dad's choice, and Pokemon Snap, which was my choice. I fucking love Pokemon Snap. I am super excited. Um, not, I wouldn't be as excited for a new NFL Quarterback Club, because that's just the Madden series. They make those every year. Um, and I tried the Unreal fan-made version that uses the Unreal Engine 4, and it's really good, but I'm starting to think that maybe that conspiracy theory, that that's just uh, oh, thank god, an ice heal. Um, that maybe that, uh, the what do you call it? Hey, Diglett! Um, maybe the, uh, trying to think of the words. Oh, that's terrifying. Diglett's a ghost type. Uh, that the remake is actually put out by Bandai to try to get Nintendo to buy, uh, to accept the idea that it would work. Uh, I think there might be some... <gasps> Meowth! There might be some, uh, like, what's the word? Not metric. Merit. Merit to that idea.
This is not the way I came in. Okay, so remember I, how he said I was going to ruin Pokemon? This is a randomized run. Uh, people in the chat are asking, how is my Goldina Dragon type? Well, let me tell you. Uh, the way Pokemon works is it looks for a series of pointers for what the types and what moves an individual Pokemon can learn are. Um, and a randomizer program will change where those pointers look. So, uh, let me scooch in here. Uh, this program that I ran this ROM through, because this is not on a Game Boy. I'm playing an emulator for a randomized run. Uh, the idea here is that, and that's how I'm speeding up as well. It's emulated. Uh, we have messed with the ROM's integrity uh, so that the game will instead look for Pokemon where we tell it to look for them and tell the Pokemon to look for their types where they should be. So it's a way for somebody like me who enjoys novelty to uh, discover Pokemon all over again. Uh, I am going to swap out Little Mac. Uh, so, for example, this is Carpy. Carpy is our Goldine, who replaced the Magikarp in the Buy a Magikarp from me, kid. Uh, it is a dragon type. It knows Dragon Rage and Barrage. Uh, this is Peanut. Peanut is our Pidgey. Pidgey is a psychic flying in the way the program randomized it. Uh, and the way it randomizes, all Pidgeys are now psychic flying. That is universal. It changes every instance of a Pidgey, not just yours. Uh, you know, Confusion, Barrage, and Psybeam, very, very good. Uh, this is our Weedle. Weedle's a ghost. It knows Horn Attack and Thunderbolt. I don't know why. Um, Puncho is our Rattata. He's Ice Electric. He knows Aurora Beam and Ice Punch. Chives is our Bulbasaur. He, or Ivysaur now. He's just grass. He lost the Poison type. Um, but he is pure grass. And then our Ditto is a fire type named Little Mac. He knows Fire Punch. I think he's only ever going to know Fire Punch, but I don't know what levels Ditto's learn moves. And I don't know if all of Ditto's moves have been replaced with Fire Punch. Um, oh, and this button here speeds me up. And I will sometimes hit it by accident. Uh, all the Spheros became Poison type. Um... And it gets weird. It's getting very weird. I am one step from the entrance. Okay, Spiro has replaced Zubat is what's happened. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, the legendaries aren't where they should be. So the legendaries have all been flipped around. Uh, so like Zapdos might be in Cerulean Cave. And Mewtwo might be it. Uh, at Viridian City and Articuno might be in the power plant and we don't know. They're all mixed up. I think Lapras and Snorlax might count as legendaries too. Okay, so basically what we're doing is one, trying to get through Mountain Moon, which is itself very, very difficult. Um, but we are also I'm going to be sorely disappointed. Why? Uh huh. Ditto only learns transform and cannot learn any TMs or HMs. And he doesn't learn transform multiple times, like how Smeargle learned paint? Nope. Alright, so we might want to swap out Little Mac, is what I'm hearing. Because that, if his one move got replaced with Fire Punch, then he can only Fire Punch forever. Which is fine for now. But we're also in a cave that's clearly full of ghosts and poison. Uh, and so Peanut's doing the heavy lifting. Fire punch. Only fire punch. <laughs> fire punch, fire punch, fire punch. Nothing but fire punch. Um, okay. So one, we're going to put out Little Mac. Sorry, we don't need you, buddy. Because, like, we know Puncho's going to learn something beyond Ice Punch. He already has Aurora Beam. So now let's look through the rest of our team and see who we can grab. So we have Big. Uh, Big is our Kakuna. Because he's the big Kakuna. Anyway, uh, he knows Petal Dance. He's a ghost. Uh, we have Dave. 
who is a Spiro and poison type. Uh, he knows Acid and Bite. Uh, we have Myrtle. She is a ghost type who knows Lick. We have Gretchen, who is our ground type Nidoran, who knows Conversion and Bone Club. Um, so the question is, who do we take in with us? Do we take Big? Do we take Dave, Myrtle, or Gretchen? Hmm. Well, we have a... When does Weedle evolve into Kakuna? Um, that should be level... It's like seven six. or eight. Okay. I want to say it's six, so let's and then not... Kakuna evolves into Beedrill at like nine. It's higher than nine, I know that. Um, it's definitely in the double digits. Um, so I don't think we need big. I'm tempted to say to take Myrtle with us. But Gretchen is the highest level here besides Little Mac. Hmm. You know what, let's try big. We'll do big. Oh no, not big. That's not who I want. I want a Dave. Big. Oh, sorry. Um, Weedle for Kakuna is level 7. Kakuna to Beedrill is 10. Okay, yeah, I thought it was double digits. Okay, Dave, you're here now. I was right on the number in between levels. Yes, you had the distance right. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, we're going to put Dave up front front and now the part that I know nobody enjoys uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to kill the audio for the program because this part's no fun but we're going to level up Dave the way we're going to level up Dave is by constantly swapping him out with the likes of Chives and uh, Peanut. When does he? When does Spear evolve into Firo? Spiro Firo is level twenty. <sighs> Maybe we should be leveling up Tentamon. Yeah, we should be. Okay, so now, Tentamon is a Kakuna. So let's look here. Still Horn Attack and Thunderbolt. That's fine. Those are good moves. Uh, but let's get him to level 10, become that Beedrill that he deserves to be, that elect, that ghost Beedrill. Face. I hate having an itchy face. Yeah, this is going to be one of those. It's going to take a bit. I'm not going to deny that. Ugh. This is what I was doing for like the half hour before the stream started. Alrighty. So 
little better? Yes, I'd like to hear. Ah, that'll do it. That is a good question. Um, part of me almost wants to say we should save those for when we do gold. Uh, but what I am more than willing to give my opinions are, are the Galarian and Alolan forms of Gen 1 Pokemon. Because we will not be touching uh, Gens 6, 7, or 8 uh, due to my lack of ability to randomize those. Okay, Alolan Rattata, I think, is a neat idea. It uh, emulates the actual rat problems in Hawaii um, that started, uh, what was it, 60, 70 years ago? Um, but, and actually, I like them. I think Raticate's chubby little cheeks <laughs> are a little weird. Um, but Rattata is actually the one I'm probably the best, the one best with out of the Alolan forms. Mm -hmm. uh, who else do we got? I think Alolan Raichu is perfect. <laughs> I already loved Raichu, and they somehow made him even better. What What's not to love? Sand True and Sand Flash? They took my favorite and made him one of my favorite types. How how dare they make him so adorable? Ice and Steel. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love Ice and I love Steel, and they're perfect types. Ooh, what's <sighs> Beedra? Uh, it's a big B. Oh, probably still Ghost, but he might have gained something. So let's see. Uh, pure Ghost has learned nothing else. What levels is he supposed to learn moves? Poor B drill. Oh, yes. Uh, the Galar version of Ponyta is adorable. And I love it. But we'll get to her in a minute. Fury attack at level 1 and level 12. Okay, so he'll get there. Then 16, 20, 25, 30, and 35. Say that one more time. 16. Level 16. Uh-huh. Level 20. Sure. 25. Okay. 30. And 35. Okay. So he, he kind of tops out at level 35. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we are good to go back into the cave. So bringing the music back. There we go. Oh, but let's bring the chat back while we're at it, shall we? Uh, okay, so more uh, a low. Or we're doing the lowland forms than Galarin forms, right? Uh, I'm kind of gonna just do both of them. Oh, that's fine. Because the way that this website has organized it, mm -hmm. um, basically puts them all. If they're put together, then do it that way. I, the, from the fact that you gave me two Alolans next to each other, I thought it was the other way. Mm -mm. Right next, Vulpix and Ninetales. Oh, uh, they're adorable as ice types. Yes, it is. It is a very I nice ice fairy type. Uh, personal opinion, normal Ninetales should have always been fire psychic. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, fire ghost kind of makes sense, but the fact that it learned so many psychic moves already... It should have gained fire psychic. Okay, so who's next? The Beach Boys. Do you mean Slowpoke? No. Diglett and Dugrio. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, God only knows uh, what kind of animal no sounds that uh, a lowland Diglett and a lowland Dugtrio would make. Uh, I'm certain some part of them wishes they were all California girls. <laughs> but I can't come up with any with a way to fit Barbara Ann in there, so I'm just saying it. Uh, I... I'm very fond of those for some reason. They look like the Beach Boys uh, in Doug Drio 
Well, no, actually, they don't really look like the Beach Boys. They look like Beach Bums. Yeah, sure the Beach Boys always kept their hair short. I do like the counter-argument that uh, our chat is giving us, uh, which is that they look like He-Man. <laughs> and considering we just finished the new She-Ra, um, and I was recently sorting through the He-Man reboot profiles, including the ones that never got to show up in the show, which I've saved on my computer for some reason, uh, I'm very fond of them. Now, I, I do admit one of my favorite memes that's come out of the new She-Ra is uh, a lot of people taking that one bit from Kung Fu Panda 3 and applying it to uh, Adam and Adora. The whole, oh, yeah, my, my twin sister was taken in a portal when I was young. I've been searching the galaxy for her. Oh, I was taken by a portal when I was young. Weird. Well, I hope you find your family. I hope you find your sister. Uh... Because they're both kind of dumb. Yeah. And it's like, I need to protect my secret identity. People won't recognize me if I'm suddenly jacked. <laughs> How do you protect your secret identity, Adam? I'll take my shirt off. Buddy, that's worse than Superman. They'll never recognize me now. <laughs> no one will recognize me if I'm just in a fur loincloth. So we tell him, nah, we, I'm not acknowledging that I know who that guy is. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Next is Meow. Uh, I am not a Alolan fan. Forms. I'm not a fan of Alolan Meowth. Yeah. I don't know why. There's just something about it that I'm not. I think original Meowth is so sassy looking. That the Alolan Meowth becomes the, too sassy. And then the Alolan version is just like, hey, sexy. Now, I think it's the fact that the Persian turns into purple Garfield. Yeah. That too. Um, How about the Larin Meowth? Yeah, I know. Everyone's already been saying it in the chat, Frere. <laughs> Stop kept tagging you. Yes. And if I play that during our stream, it'll be taken down in the VOD. I know. I'm sorry. That's why I left. Okay. So you don't need to play it. I was yeah. purposefully ignoring the I said hey yeah 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 stuff. <laughs> That's I I keep seeing it. I know I was getting tagged multiple times. Yes. I am aware of all of this. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway. I am a professional, dang it. Blaring me out. Oh, the weird little Viking asshole. Uh, Dude, why a... did they make him look like a Viking? Reasons. Stupid so reasons? Because it's stupid. Because Vikings always had cats on their ships. I mean, yeah, I guess, but the British love the British short hair. You should have gone with a version that looked like that. Just give him the... Yeah, no, we can't give the British everything. Or a Scottish fold. Nah, Viking. Fine. You're complaining about an increase in Vikings? Not really. Now, doesn't he evolve into something Especially different? Especially since I'm holding a book about Viking hair um, braids. From the looks of it, no. If, I don't know if he becomes, like, the Alolan version or if he becomes a different... So, like, okay, in Galar... Yeah, scroll up, scroll up. I'm looking at it. As a seal type, it evolves into... Yeah. Perserker. Perserker. So it doesn't become Persian. Oh, that's weird. He becomes a weird Viking cat. Uh, a lot of the Galarin, like. the Galarin yeah. forms lose their normal uh, evolution. What the fuck? Uh, or if they keep their normal evolution, the normal evolution also has a Galarin form. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I am... I like that one better than the Alolan one just because it's so different. I can accept it more. I didn't sneak up on you. You ran into me. You said stop, and then walked up to me, and then said I ran into you. This one looks so fuzzy. Oh god, I don't like this lick of tongue. Go, Dave. Make it leave. Yeah. I forgot how derpy the original sprites look. <laughs> yeah, that lick of tongue just, it really does look derpy as heck. Alright, uh, scrolling down, scrolling down. Oh, Geodude is the next 
Oh, uh, Alo Alolan Geodude? I love Alolan Geodude. He has little hair. Unless he's an electric rock, which makes him very difficult to deal with. Yeah. It's great to throw at people. Uh, and then you have, like, Alolan Graveler, who's nothing to write home about. Uh, and then you have Alolan Golem, who's a railgun! Uh, which I really enjoy that. Okay. Why does it know Drill Peck? Why is Lickitung a flying type? You say that like any of this makes sense. I'm trying to imagine. Well, what I'm doing is I'm trying to imagine how does it fit into its new type. Okay. So, for example, my Goldeen being a dragon type. Kind of fits into that whole uh, dragon swimming up the waterfall legend. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, um, you have like the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, all right. Uh, you have the... Hello. He pulled an Icarus. I don't think that the uh, Lickitung pulls an Icarus. I think the Lickitung just spins its tongue around like a propeller. <laughs> and takes off that way. <laughs> Alright, next. After gra uh, Geodude's Graveler and Golem. Uh huh. We have the Galarin, Ponita, and Rapidash. So Galarin Ponita is beautiful <gasps> and looks Galarin. like Rainbow Dash. And Galarin Rapidash is everything Lisa Frank wishes it could be. Right? It's beautiful. Uh, so I kind of like them. They're neat. God, he's so pretty. Uh, so stupid, so gay. So many rainbows. Stupid how pretty it is. God damn. <laughs> Stop throwing things. <laughs> he's just gonna sit on the floor. No. Here. Stop throwing things at my rat. You knocked out my rat, you asshole. Now I'm gonna send a bee. What did Galar do to Slowpoke? Oh, they made it dumb. <laughs> it looks so dumb! What the hell? It's got like gold ears for no reason. Fuck. No, and then the slow bro has an arm cannon. Which I'm very fond of. Yeah, that's Galar Slowbro. He has an arm cannon. What? He's he's slow Mega Man. <laughs> he's poison psychic. Uh-huh. Yeah. The the poison from the shelter that in a normal Slowbro numbs its pain, and in a slow king makes it super intelligent. In the Galar and Slowbro, it uses that poison by basically fusing it to its arm. This is so wrong. Poor Slowpoke. Everything about Slowpoke is poor Slowpoke. All three of its evolutions are, I'm going to be parasitized. <laughs> and today's creepy laughter is brought to you by Frere. Alright. I got you, Frank. Yay! Able. <laughs> it's, it's not a comfy one, you know, but it's a chair. It's better than nothing. I will take the chair. Yay! D Dave learned horn attack. <laughs> That's worse than where my brain went. Now I just have one of those horrible corkscrew duck penises in my head. <laughs> where did your brain go? That he just, like, gives himself a little mohawk. And then just, like, slams it into people. Farfetch. The, 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 the Galarian Farfetch. 
Galarin Farfetch'd is done. <laughs> he's done with people eating him. He has gone and gotten the biggest leak he can, and he's gonna fuck your shit. I caught one of those today. He and is his so done with everything. And his evolved form is amazing. Yeah. So done. So look up Surfetched. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I do half the time just to mess with you. <laughs> that is the biggest sword. Yep. That is too big. Big onion sword, and he or it's a lance. Yep. And he stabs you with it. I love him. Well, I mean, that is what lances were for. Yes, that's true. All right, Nick. Uh huh. Uh, Grimer and Muck. Uh, Grimer and Muck are very rainbowy, and I like it. The lance is for social distancing. <laughs> okay, I'll agree with that. We were having a conversation about that today at work. What, what was your aunt, what? What was the conversation? Uh, okay, because we're having a problem where uh, people come up to the door and we're trying to tell them, no, please don't, because you're not. The building's not open. We're open for curbside service only. Mm -hmm. Um. So Veronica opens the door to, to tell this guy and then is going to drop a box for him to drop his CDs in because the CDs can't go in the book drop. They'll get crushed. Right. There's too many books there. Um, he decides to keep walking towards her and she's like, no social distance. Um, and my suggestion was get a spray bottle whose uh, range is six feet. Okay, so here's my suggestion. Yeah. We're going to go down to Home Depot. Get some PVC pipe and pool noodles. Okay. And build a little barrier in front of the library door. Yeah. Because then if they go past it, it's like, why? Yeah. Why would you do this? Right. And they go like, well, I didn't think that was for me. And you'll go, leave. <laughs> We've had people attempt to come in through the back door. Well, that's normal. And we're just like, no. We're not open. Go away. Do you have a sign on the back door too? You should. Oh, over half of the people at that library use the back door. Well, Dave's definitely not here, man. <laughs> Dave died. Oh, no. Why is that? Because uh, now all I want to do is start braiding my hair on stream. Go for and it. I'm not good at braiding hair. Oh, then don't go for it. Yeah. Next on the Alolan Pokemon. Uh-huh. Executor. Oh. I love Alolan Executor. He's, he's, he, he's so tall. He's so tall. He's a tall boy. He's, he's a tall, tall boy. To the point where if you play the if you play um Sun or Moon, his you cannot see his head if you use him in battle. His head falls out of frame. He's constantly out and I love him. <laughs> he is he is he is Grant. From uh, college humor. <laughs> Am I out of frame? Guys? <laughs> oh, I would do things to Grant. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going even further than that. I, I broke rock. Oh, it's Marowak. Marowak. Alolan Marowak does that fire spinning thing, and I love it. Yeah. Because yeah. he's a fire ghost type, which is neat. Yes. Just like his mom. Yeah, but his mom was also a Marowak. A ghost Marowak. In the Lavender Town. <laughs> so bad. Remember the poor little sad Cubones? Yes! I recently saved him from Team Rocket. Anyway. Uh, the Galarin Weezing is next. Oh, with his big old hat? I yeah. Why not? Galarin? He looks like he belongs in America. Uh, he's based off of a uh, coal factory owner. I understand that. I well, get the reference, but at though the same you, time. you keep thinking that his name's Doug Dimmadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. Yes. Okay. Now the best and part. He 
<laughs> is his, his smokestacks are actually putting out fresh air because he eats the uh, the pollution. That's fair. Uh, next is Mr. Mime from Gallard. Gal mm, not a fan, and I don't like his evolved form even more. Wait, what is it? Mr. Mime. Ice? Mr. Mime? His, his Galarin form is a clown. No, that's even worse! And his evolved form has, like, a weird clown tummy. No! With, I like, a big red nose on it. But beyond that, he's Charlie Chaplin. I hate it! He's Charlie Chaplin wearing a clown suit. No! Charlie Chaplin never wore a clown suit! And he's got, like, his little sprayed out feet and a little cane and everything. Ugh. A little mustache, I even. I hate it! You don't like Mr. Rhyme? Looks badass Gal as hell. Galarin Articuno looks like it's going to tell me to get in the fucking robot. <laughs> oh, we're waiting for you. Badass as hell. Okay, and then we have Galarin uh, Zapdos. Who's a chocobo? What? <laughs> he go fast. He look like he go fast. He runs everywhere, and then we have Galar and Moltres, which is what Moltres should have always looked like. God damn, yeah. That is not the burnt chicken. It's not. And yet somehow it's an even more burnt chicken. Yeah. I love it though. It looks like a bone vulture. Yeah. I have a weakness for bone vultures. Yes, I know. I drew you one once. You did. That that the whole story ends there. Uh, so only Galarin Mr. Mimes do. Galarin, wait, what? Only Galarin Mr. Mimes evolve. Yeah. Did... Mm, what? It's a wild Bulbasaur. Go, Puncho. Fuck it shit up. <laughs> or not. Just die. Carpy, you know what to do. There could be only one. <laughs> when does Goldeen evolve? Good question. He's level 25. It's, it's way higher than I am. Like most of my life, it's way higher than I am. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. We're gonna screw everyone over, see? Oh, that's where I put my phone. Oh. I knew it. There's a reason why I loved uh, Goldine. Thirty three. Two threes. Mm -hmm. I love threes. What's the next Pokemon game? What? Takes place in New We already had Pokemon in New York. That's black and white. Yeah. Why does everyone forget my favorite gen? Because. <sighs> They're all ingrates is why. They're all high up on Sinnoh. Fucking Sinnoh. Sinnoh's the laziest fucking generation. Wait, Sinnoh? Which one was Sinnoh? Diamond and Pearl. I like Diamond and Pearl. It's I like Pearl. fine. We're gonna play that too. But, like, okay. Unova is New York. Uh, the big city in Unova is New York City. Uh, it just is. Um, and the giant desert was meant to be uh, both an allusion to the American Southwest and Ground Zero. Uh, it got dark in Unova. Uh, and as for the there's no piles of trash everywhere, yes, there were. His name is Trubbish, and he is a national treasure. <laughs> uh, meanwhile... He's a national treasure. He, he should be officially Oscar the Grouch's favorite Pokemon. Um... <laughs> personal opinion there but also uh as far as the air didn't smell of pee you know what how do you know did you have the smell attachment for your ds <laughs> maybe it reeked of urine are we back to in new york about our uh, 
attachment. What? No, I am. Yeah, yes, you did. You liar. There's no smell attachment for the DS. <laughs> Hello, Queen Awesome 15. How are you? <laughs> I think that might be uh, Salty Chris. Well, they need to call out on that because I don't know. <laughs> I told her to come in. Just to okay. Having an essential oil diffuser next to your DS does not count as having a smell attachment. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Also, I had to... If you didn't use essential oils, then I'm concerned about what you put in that diffuser. Uh, but also, uh, it was my job when Black and White was out to sell every accessory for the DS. So, I know there was no smell attachment. And if there was, it wouldn't have sold well. Oh my goodness. What? Alright. Polywag! I'll, I'll fight a polywag. I'll catch a polywag. I'm working on it. Calm down. No! Hello! It works better if your volume's on! <laughs> yes. And how are you doing today, Queen Awesome 15? I'm tired. Oh no, it was playing a commercial. In fact, what I probably should do, even though I know everyone will hate me for it, is I should guarantee Oh yes, it is Salty Chris. Okay. Yay! What I should do is I should guarantee that nobody else has to deal with a commercial for a while, and there's only one way to do that. I have to force push a commercial. Oh, okay. But, so, if you have um, Twitch Prime, we got 56 seconds to talk over these jerks. So here's the deal. <laughs> Hi, subs. How are you? Because uh, remember, if you're sub to a channel, you don't necessarily get uh, ads. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so okay. here I we are. I'm going to change out of my shirt and put on my gay shirt. Sure. You're, you're out on this channel. Why not? I was asking the chat. Chat can't hear you. There's an ad. All right. Uh, and apparently Steph got a toilet paper ad. <laughs> uh, and it pushed Chris into another commercial. <laughs> so All right, I'm gonna go we got that going back. for us. Bounty Twitch commercial. <laughs> Neat. Uh... But yes, once the ad break is done, uh, or I guess if you're watching this in the future on YouTube, uh, so I, so yeah, uh, welcome back. Uh, the reason I did that is when I do that, it stops commercials from running at all for the next 30 minutes. Uh, was it 30 minutes or an hour? Um, it stops him for a while. At least it's supposed to. Um, so, yeah, I can just force a commercial in there. And it's to kind of help onboarding with people. It doesn't affect the VOD, though. Because if for the people who are um, subs, they don't get commercials when I press that button. At least that's my understanding. So, of course, if you uh, have Amazon Prime, you can always shoot us your free sub and not have to deal with any commercials, and that helps us out. <laughs> Where did Frere go? Where did Frere go? Yay! The minute you came back. Yeah. Uh, Frere went to go change their shirt. Because I have a few gay shirts, you see, and I wanted to be gay. Well, it seems like you should be buying full of pride. Yes. Well, All I right. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I mean... Pansexual, but, bi but the bisexual shirt was close enough until I found out that there was a pansexual shirt, and then I lost my shit and bought it. So, fair enough. Um, meanwhile, for me, so yeah, like we were saying, uh, Frere had work, Frere's here now, which is great. Um, for all intents and purposes, this is, this is my job at the moment. Uh, I have over 100 applications out for various other places, but this is the job so running those ads helps us but also getting subs getting follows you guys sharing it with all your friends 
forcing them to watch us, putting them in that machine from a clockwork orange where you have to miss their eyes. Uh, things like that really help the channel. Please don't miss your friend's eyes. Um, don't put them in that machine. AC casinos? Like Animal Crossing casinos? Ooh, that's a heck of a job. Oh, Atlantic City. Dang, I wanted to run a casino in Animal Crossing. What the fuck, dude? What, wouldn't you? I mean, I guess, but no. <laughs> Casinos are hard work, and then eventually the mob will come. I'm assuming, that I, I'm assuming that's how it works. <laughs> then the mob happens. <laughs> Well, they opened a KFC in Animal Crossing. I was about to say, the Mafia opened up a KFC? Actually, that's a very popular money laundering front, so also yes. <laughs> but that one is not in Animal Crossing. So, let's hear. Uh, you can get golden tickets to heaven <laughs> in Florida. No, that's behind the KFC. <laughs> get it straight. Uh, okay, so then we have... Uh, Queen Austin 15 with, So, Fair, I had an exercise in boundaries with my mom today. Oh, no. I went out for a drive with my unfriendly doggo, and she was like, Who are you going to meet? Don't say no one. I was like, Literally no one. And messaged my dad, like, Why is she being weird? And I got the Under Our House, Our Rules talk, and I was like, Bitch, I'm 33. Get fucked. <laughs> um, so, throwing this out there. Bitch, I'm 33. Get fucked. to my mom when i left the house <laughs> would have saved a lot of trouble in the intervening year right just um i'm moving out get fucked <laughs> right i just sent out my dragon against an ice type i'm a retard all right no you're not <laughs> back to the psychic bird <laughs> what is it with narcs and wanting to know where you are at all the problem is, is i'm used to narcs in the other frame of word um, although I've noticed that many narcs are narcs, yeah. but not all narcs are narcs. Yeah. Uh, so the reason why narcissists always want to know where you are is because it's another method of control. If they know where you are, they can, uh, control who you interact with and how, so that they can maintain their source of narcissistic supply. Yep, that, that it stands to reason. Basically, what Frere is saying is if you live with a narcissist and you are older than, or you are 18 years or older, the perfect response to that is uh, Frozone's life. Honey, what do you need to know? Yeah. That is an honest to God perfect response to anyone, including a parent, asking you where you're going to go. And if their response is anything but just in case I need to reach you and then you and then your reply is you have my cell phone number and they're okay with that, that's fine. So I'm gonna argue on that point. My mom would like to know where I am back when I lived with her. Yeah. Just so if my cell phone wasn't working yeah. and I went missing for twenty four hours and never reached out to her, yeah. that she could tell the cops where to start looking. Yeah. Right, but on the same front, she wasn't like, "And who's gonna be there?" Yeah, she, which, was... which, which is a different matter. Yeah. It was, "Hey, where are you going? I'm going to party in Marino Valley." Neat. Thanks for letting me out, and that's the whole thing. She didn't need to know exactly where. Yeah. Uh, it was like, okay, so if you go missing, I'll tell the Marino Valley police to look first. Yeah. Right. Uh, because my mom's par my mom has anxiety issues, so she worries about that kind of thing, right? Um, but yeah, like asking you to send a selfie so she knows it's just you that's dumb yeah. right compared to especially oh if, if something cool happens let me know yeah. like especially if you're an adult you are right you're 33 yeah first of all you're 33 your mom doesn't need to fucking know like my mom stopped asking beyond the general location yeah. uh by 15 yeah like you're 33 your mom doesn't fucking need to know <gasps> pokeball uh but also by the time you're 18 stone. your parents in general do not need to know, like, who you're going to be with. Like, unless they're paying for college and you're not studying. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I, I know you're having a serious discussion, yeah. but Steph has a stuffed crust pizza, <gasps> and I am very jealous of this. Oh, God damn, I miss stuffed crust pizza. Like, it's not the greatest. It's just a string cheese and a pizza. Don't it's, fucking Well, no, what was that thing? It was like, hey, do you want to eat, like, eight string cheeses? No? no. What if I deep fry them and give you a small bowl of marinara sauce? Oh, by all means, then. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, give me that shit. What if we take five of them and just run them around the rim of a pizza? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck me up. Um, yeah, getting off topic and onto something much more fun. Get the fuck off me. What the hell was that? That's one of those bugs. The stink bugs that we've been trying to get rid of. I don't like them. No, that's why we're pumping this room full of lemon and eucalyptus essential oil. Good. It's poison to them and delicious smelling to us. Yeah. Because I'm already, like, ultra sensitive because I got a little too much sun today. Oh yeah, the, for some reason when they land on you it hurts. They're not even biting. Yeah. Um, she gets mad when I wear my mask indoors because I look like Antifa. Get a red and black mask. Because <laughs> um, that's the thing. is, yeah, I hate the whole idea that oh, Antifa is clearly a terrorist organization. There are a bunch of people who say we hate fascists. That's literally it. That's all it is. And beyond that, uh, you know what? I would say that the most important Antifa outfit would be a World War II era GI uniform. Uh-oh. That's a very high-level onyx. Uh, peanut? Psybeam? Peanut? Peanut Psybeam. <laughs> I had a Butterfree that knew Psybeam. It was the best. Oh boy, am I glad it's Peanut and not Chives. What the fuck is happening? Ooh, what is this? Ah, thank you for the follow there, Queen Awesome. That is, mm, I'm happy you did, but that also tells me that I have the wrong alerts on this channel. Uh -huh. Because that is the magic alert system, and I thought I switched it back to the customs. Uh -huh. Whoopsies. But hey, new follower, now we're at 151. The Yay. same as the original generation of Pokemon. Uh -huh. Because for some reason, two genders of Pokemon count as two separate species, which should be wrong. Did you sneeze? No. Oh. Bug got you Damn, too? Bug is trying to die. Well, it succeeded. You hit it. All right. I got a new fly swatter, you guys. I, yeah, I was out in the sun a little bit too much today, so I'm a little oversensitive on the skin thing. I might need to go put some aloe vera on. I, I mean, I That's think, completely fair. I don't think I got sunburned sunburned, oh, but I did get... Mikella gets very mad at bugs, and it's completely reasonable. Uh, I'm definitely not blinking save me in Morse code. Okay. I'm mad at the damn bugs. For getting in my house! Um, I'll get anything in my house. My wife's gonna genocide the bugs, holy shit. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I, I did get suffered, but I did get, um, enough sun that I'm mildly sensitive now. And, like, warm. So it's it's only grown legs prevent it from running. It appears to prefer swimming than trying to stand. Yes. It's not, it's not quite a burn, but it's close. Fucking seriously! Get the hell off me! I apologize, stream. I will probably be smacking my face and my body all, all during this thing. Actually, I think I might have gotten sunburn on the back of my neck. Because that really hurt. I scratched back there and it hurt. Yeah, I named the polywag Binya Binya. What of it? Binya Binya! Binya Binya! What else would you name a polywag? All, all I can think of is... The robot chicken one? Yeah! <laughs> Been in this suit for five years. <laughs> I killed Frere, apparently. That was one of my favorite ones. Mostly because you could tell that guy went completely insane. Pinya Pinya's the best. He's <laughs> yeah. he's a big, cute Muppet. I love him. How could you not? 
uh, when we get to Gen 5, because I can randomize all the way through Gen 5, uh, I have decided that, is it Mandibuzz? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just name him, uh, oh fuck, I forgot his name already. Chancellor? Chancellor? No, that's not right. The Minus guy from Dark Crystal. Yeah, Chancellor. Okay. That's him. Thank you. Uh, because, I mean, that's what he is. <laughs> Trash for Skeksis. <laughs> she is. It's weird. It's true. What? Salty, Salty Chris, Chris is Trash for Skeksis. Uh, uh, so, Salty Chris, I know... That you play Dungeons and Dragons, and as some of, some of you may know, I also do Dungeons and Dragons videos over on youtubecom slash Alchemy Prime. Throwing that out there now. <laughs> what I do think you need to know, though, is about the Nagpa. The Nagpa were created for Mistara, the Mistara setting, but now they're just general D and D. Yeah. Because that's what happened with everything from Mistara. Why not? Yeah. Um, of a bunch of cursed wizards that were turned into like. Horrible, slightly scaled vulture men that couldn't fly. Oh, yeah. What would you call a slightly scaled vulture man that can't fly? Skexies. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those, we need some of that dark crystal money. <laughs> Jim Henson's getting it all. Okay, now, I do think Steph's answer of what would you call a slightly scaly, uh, <laughs> slightly scaly vul flightless vulture is perhaps better, which is Chris's type. <laughs> Incredibly. I'm sorry. At least it's not like that time in middle school when we went on a roller coaster together. That's part of the reason I have tinnitus in one of my ears. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, that was a very loud preteen. I'm working on it. I'm getting much better. Yes, you are no longer a preteen. <laughs> you succeeded. Okay. We defeated Rocket Raccoon. Fantastic. Oh, wait a minute. I was about to say, I have a feeling you're also going to say the one played by Andy Samberg, and I was right. <laughs> I love the one played by Andy Samberg. It took me forever to figure it out. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Okay. Dick? I wasn't going to, like, steal one. Just gonna move it out of the way like a Zelda game. But sure. I don't know what Voltorb is, except now it's yellow. <laughs> so like all is things that, that scare me in life. Voltorb? There are no shinies in Gen 1. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that moment when you realize one of the Skekskis is uh, Jake Peralta. Yeah. No, my attack missed. How do you have wing attack? You need wings. <laughs> Maybe it has phantom wings. I hate that more. <laughs> I hate that more. Uh, yes. Tentamon's up. Uh, partially because it itches horribly mm. um, and is very sensitive at the moment. Mm. That's not your fault. It's just how my ear be. Um, wait, ear be. so the flying was a misnomer. It is not a flying type. It just has wing attack because ah. lightning was not very effective. Mm. So, oh, it's fighting type. If flying's not working, but it's not... No, wait. Fighting is resistant to normal. Uh... Well, now I'm confused. Hmm. What is Voltorb? America, explain. A little pile of secrets? Wait, no. That is what is a man. Ah, look at tongue. I know. That one is definitely flying type. Uh, there's nothing wrong with only having played Pokemon Go. 
games are for enjoyment. If that is what you enjoyed, then you are fine. Mm -hmm. Do not call yourself a terrible gamer just because you haven't played every single Pokemon game backwards and forwards. I've never beaten the Gen 3s. So, this will be interesting when we get there and here uh, in this run through. Wait, Gen 3s. Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald. Uh, yeah, I never played those either. I have Omega Sapphire. Do I want Helix? No. I want Dome. Give me the dome. I don't know if Dome Fossil still turns into Caputo. Chris, you were just slightly too old to have been into Pokemon. Uh, okay, so Chris, you're 33. You are trace years older than me. So, here's what that means. You would have been 11 when Pokemon came out. That's outside of the target demo that's not where people normally play pokemon at 11 most people play pokemon at eight so don't feel bad about that it, you're the wrong age yeah although right? now, if you do want to get into playing it like uh the the like the the original the best way to do it is by playing let's go pikachu or let's go eevee because now you get to pal around with the cutest of pokemon and, uh, they find things for you, and they are just also adorable. Love them. Okay, now to go with that, though. Yes. Uh, everyone is pretty sure. I could have sworn there was a Gary Oak fight over here. Apparently not. Did you mean the prayer fight? You know what I meant. <laughs> um. Are you in Cerulean? Yeah. Yeah, it's when you go up to go try and see Phil. Okay, it's not when you get into Cerulean. No. Yeah. Okay, so I'm remembering it worse than it was then. Thank God. Um, all right. But yeah, so you have... Um... Pikachu is too fucking cute. <clears throat> Pikachu is very cute. Um, there's a rumor that's been going around. Mm -hmm. So today they announced Pokemon Snap 2. Because uh, new Pokemon Snap is a dumb name. Now, but they also had so many Johto Pokemon on the set. So a bunch of people are saying, are we getting Let's Go Pichu, Let's Go Meryl next week? Ooh, Let's Go Meryl. That would be so fun. I love Meryl. Uh, now, personally, I hope it would be Let's Go Togepi, Let's Go Meryl. Yeah, God, yes, Togepi. Um, or alternatively, uh, Let's Go Meryl, Let's Go uh, Mareep. Yeah. I'd go for that, too. But any, any way you cut it, you're going to be locked out of evolving them. Uh, Togepi would be perfect for that, because, uh, Togepi is fine without evolving. That's true, Togekiss sucks. Togekiss is okay, just not as good as Togepi. Okay, so we're gonna test to see what element, or what type, Misty's Gym is. Okay. Because we don't know if it's gonna be water. I changed all the types at random. Brock was poison. Yeah. Alright, so let's see here. Fat Pikachu is or bust. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm mean, first up. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no, I think I got accosted. Uh, <laughs> Swimmer wants to fight. Nice. Swimmer sent out Kabuto. Now Kabuto is a water type, so we might still be water, but Kabuto might not be a water type. Okay, Psybeam. Haze. That's an ice move. Uh-huh. Sure. Got it. Right. Uh, in impressive. Haze again. Kabuto, do you only know Haze? Weird. I dropped my phone. Don't do that. Alright, another Kabuto. Let's change this to Chives. And just see what happens? And see what happens. So that's kind of how we have to test this. Yeah. We have to A, B test everything. Haze again. Do you only have Haze? Okay, well, if Razor Leaf's not very effective, then that'll tell us he's ice. No. Huh. Is Haze an ice move? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is confusing. 
Now, this is why I didn't tell it to change the types of moves. Yeah. Because I didn't want to make it impossible for me to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Because that would just be difficult. Yes. Um, I mean, the fact I already had to deal with Aurora Beam knowing up ice electric rattatas on the way out of pallet town <laughs> yeah that was kind of a that was kind of a bitch especially because i had the grass starter right. and we know ghastly's a fire now yeah which is weird misty can wait bitch i'm right here misty you can wait <laughs> junior trainer girl wants to fight horsey this still tells me nothing. Right? Because horses could be anything. I haven't seen a horsey yet, so horsey could be anything. Fury, Fury attack, attack is normal. Okay. Normal. Huh. Alright, so let's see here. Psy beam. Yep. Confusion. Haze, Haze again. again. Uh, Are we going to get through this whole gym and not figure out what the type is? Afraid so. Also, I thought the gym would be a lot harder than this. Yeah. Oh, offensive water type. You say it's water type, but Brock said rock and he clearly had poison. Back in the days when Misty wore a bikini. Just all the time. Is it Gen 2 where she had the, the like, strap bikini and, like, the, uh... Michaela, pull up pictures of Misty. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, I know you're also playing Solitaire. Yeah, so let's scroll down to how she looked in each gen. Yeah, in the games. Uh, no, no, it's further down than that. Uh, so click Pokemon Red Blue. There we go. Bikini. Yep. And then in the next one, she had the shorts and the top, like in the anime. I am not a lowly con. How fucking dare you? Yeah, okay. That was me. Oh, okay. No, no, that that one's safe. Fair. All and right. And she gained a jacket. <laughs> oh yeah, and a one piece. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Did I okay. just fucking make it bikini then, in my head? I think. Well, it's a bikini in this one. Fire red and leaf green. She goes back to her bikini. Okay. Uh, heart gold, soul silver. She went back to a jacket and one piece. Still a jacket and one piece. She stayed in that jacket and a one piece for a long time. Yeah. Uh, let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. She's in the top and She's in shorts. The top and shorts. From the anime. And she stays that way. Yeah. Huh. You know what? I may have been mistaking her for, like, the swimmers. I think you're thinking of the swimmers. Yeah, also, I think I am now realizing I was much more gay as a kid than I thought. You're just now noticing this, right? Kind of, yeah. It's a bit of a realization because I was so bi and I just focused on dudes because that was normal. So sometimes I, when I figure out, wow, I really fixated on that for some weird reason. Um... It, it kind of goes, oh, huh, maybe I really was gay all along. And it's like, yeah, duh, but it's like, <laughs> as a realization, it's kind of Oh, ooh, ooh, oh man, those potion randomizers are great. I randomized what the potions they use are. Yeah. So she just used an X defense instead of a potion. Nice. Uh, Tentamon, don't die, Tentamon, don't die. Good. It used bubble. That would mean water. But the lightning isn't super effective. We will never know. We're never gonna know. We are never gonna know. And Tentamon learned teleport. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my, my Beedrill can teleport now. 
I like to imagine it's like Goku with the whole thing. Okay, Cascade Badge. See, Ash, this is how you win it without uh, getting pity. Right? That's what happened in the anime. Oh, yeah. She got ticked and was like, screw you, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm gonna look at my TMs. You, you broke my bike, Ash. You still owe me a bike. Okay, so we have submission. Hmm. It just ties up your Pokemon. Um, rage, great. TM eleven. Bubble. All right. So she still gives bubble. Huh. Something. I guess when you randomize everything, some things their random version is the same. The same. Make your Pokemon a complete sub. N no. Don't do that thing. That's bad. Okay. Uh, you know what, though? I know we were aiming for a two-hour stream, but uh, we are very close to that two-hour mark anyway. We got through Mount Moon. We beat Brock. We have accomplished what we set out to do today. Go eat some ice cream. Bye, guys. I'm going to go have some ice cream. Uh, I'm warm. I want ice cream. I deserve it. I went to work. That's fair. All right, but yeah, I think we should go. I think we should call it here. Because uh, I also have a thing I need to do at 9. Uh, but hey, not too bad. We, we got through Mount Moon. We beat Missy. We beat uh, Brock. So, that works. Yeah, it's 11.49 for you guys in the future. But here in California, it's 9. Like a normal person's time. Uh, no, Gary, no, leave. You know what? We're just going to fight Frere next time. That's exactly what we'll do. We will fight Frere next time. Uh, so I will uh, make sure that you are following here. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe over on YouTube. If you're subbed here on Twitch with Twitch Prime, it saves you from all those ads. Uh, and of course, perhaps the biggest thing, force your friends to watch us. Make them uh, follow. Make them sub. If we can get to... So here's the real goal. All right? Real shit for a second over here on Twitch. Our goal is... What was it? We need to get... Uh, there is a chart. I lost my chart. I want to say it's 75 people watching at once. Alright? That's a lot, admittedly. There it is. 75 people watching at once on average. It's a little lower right now. Uh, but it's doable. Y'all help us with that. That helps. So make your friends watch. It'd be great. But anyway, we'll talk to you, talk to you later. Uh, make, again, LCS, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you all take care of yourselves. Bye.